Well, hello, you beautiful lot. Welcome to today's episode of Purple Vision. Now, do excuse me, I'm using my phone so I can zoom in. But here we are at Wellingborough's uh, Chester House. Well, Chester House. And it's uh, an old Roman settlement. So if you actually look over where the builders are, the way the land all is, it's... Uh, Sure signs of Romans being here, maybe even stuff before. So I do believe there is 10,000 years of history in this house. So it's quite important. Um, here we have the Nen Way walk. So um, to be honest, when you actually look at the Nen Way, it actually follows the river. So I'm not really trespassing, although there's a fencer, which is stupid. But the main reason why I am down here, because of this bridge. It's very nice, it's nice and new. Now, the original one, they say, caught fire, um, but to be honest, I looked at it and there weren't no fire damage. But anyway, nevertheless, we've now got a new bridge. But the only problem is, I still can't get to Chester House because they've put barriers there. Now, I could be a naughty boy and climb over and go over, but since I'm making videos, I need to do a good impression. So, mm, mm. I suppose... I mean, looking at all of this, let me turn you around. Right, it looks like I could actually go through. I mean, I thought maybe they've, um, they're still working here because, of course, they put a load of limestone down and they've had to remove it. It was all to protect the land whilst they brought down a lorry, which, to be fair, I thought was a bit of a waste of money since they could have brought the bridge down the lakes area here because there's a fishing gate that they've just blocked off because they're now building a new road. But they could have brought down the lorry down here but yeah whatever so I thought maybe we can't cross here because they're still working we're gonna get in their way but even when you look over the other side the other bridge is also finished so what is going on are we just waiting for some big wig to come and open it up I mean I'm no big wig but I've got a bit of renown I'd like to say I think so here we go. I, David Pennell, purple, open this bridge. Kind of. I'd do it. Done. Right? <laughs> now, the reason why I want to go over there is one of two things. Right? Is you've got the Civic Society plaque. That's in the courtyard, which, of course, I'm part of the Civic Society. Um, I need to put across a few ideas. I've got some good ones. Um, but also, Nenscape are over there. And Nenscape have put in plans for something epic which I don't really want to mention too much because I need the facts so the second this is open oh rest assured I'll be over there but it's doing my head in Look. all I want to do is get over there hmm anyway um you know what I might do in a minute is I might go down the viaduct and just have a look on the other side because they've done flood compensation because they're building a new bloody road down there. So, um, yeah, I'll take a little walk up and we'll have a look. Is the flood compensation so they've done a lot of earth moving and you see there's a bit of a quarry face it's not really a quarry is it well yeah I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. anyway um, yeah so they've cut back the land to create more flood, flood space for the bridge that is on the other side further down there so um, but what we got here so 
St Mary's Church is just there in the background. And then this is the Earthlingborough Road just in front of it, where the van is. Um, Wendelberry Rise, just here, Stanton Cross. Um, and then the school, and then the other part of Earthlingborough Road that actually leads to Earthlingborough, um, with the new houses all along there as well. So we are having another new road that is built from Sygate Lane. You go along a little bit and then there's a new road that comes straight down the hill, round the back of Ditchford Chettles and then um, onto Rushton Lakes or onto the A45. That bit's still in planning, but it's it's coming, it's coming. All supposed to be completed by 2031. So yeah, we've got a few years yet. But uh, I, uh, I, uh, This is just incredible though. So basically, as long as developers can do this and create flood compensation, is what they call it, they can build and do whatever they want. You know what, so shall we go down to this new road bit? Let's go, uh, I'll show you that lot. Right, okay, give me a minute. Excuse me, da, da, da. mountains, always climbing bloody mountains. Oh, wow, would you look at that? How's that for a view, folks? Oh, stunning, isn't it? Right, so what we got here? So, Leyland Bridge is just there. Leyland Trading Estate, just behind it, which was Thomas Butlin's Iron Foundry. And before that, it was a uh, Blackwell's Quarry. Oh, but we should have a new road somewhere coming over the railway bridge with a new railway bridge just here. So... This is to do with it, but I don't think it's coming across here. I think it's a bit further down, I was explained. So, yeah, and then it's going to bomb across here somewhere. And I don't know if it's going this way and cutting just straight in between these two lakes, or it's going to go round this bit here and then go round and join. I'm not too sure yet, but yeah. Mm. I don't like this stuff, but it's what it is. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Right. So, where they've created new mounds down here, I just want to go take a little walk down there because it was raining the other day, and I did a video from dun 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 that little hut right there. So. We'll take a walk down, we'll have a look at the lock, and then we'll have a look at that devastation. Now, I am told by PJ Murphy that I can't go as any further than the red marker, but you know, I'll, I'll come to this old boundary, so that'll do. But as you can see down there, they're uh, causing a lot of devastation. And this was beautiful wild meadow, where you see birds from all over the world actually being here. It's, it's, it's crazy, to be fair. I don't like it one bit, but it is what it is, isn't it? Hmm. One more bit that is kind of puzzling me a little bit is I don't know what is going to happen with the river eyes. Can't remember the long word for it, but <laughs> so they're going to have to build a bridge here because, of course, how else are they going to get the road over the river? Hmm. Yeah. So this lake here feeds the um, the river Nen or Nien 
depending what side of the board you are. Well, there's a knee grit, very nice. And this is the river ice that feeds that lake. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, I can't put in a normal culvert because it's a proper river, isn't it? It comes from Kettrin, Naseby. Naseby is where it starts and goes through Kettrin Wicksteed Park and makes its way down here, which then enters the Nen and goes off towards Wisp Beach and into the sea. Yeah, so there's going to have to be a bridge here, isn't there? Mm. Right, I'm going to go walk round to my little hut and then uh, I'll be walking home. But when you're on that little hut, you can actually see the line of direction of uh, where this is going. So, hmm, give me a moment, go to that hut. The railway line that used to link up two railway stations here in Wellingborough. If you want to know about that, you'll have to just type it in on YouTube. Wellingborough London Road Station. But yeah, here we are. So there's the embankment corner that throws every car into the river because people can't drive. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you've got a new roundabout going there, and then they're going to continue the road on towards uh, the Tesco's roundabout. But then it's coming across here, destroying the railway line and the little hut, which is a plate layers hut. So a gentleman who's working the railways, he'd be assigned this whole stretch of track to look after and make sure it was all right. So, but yeah, isn't that bad? And just down there, they've scraped the lot. Um, oh, look, they're working over there. Ooh. But if I keep walking along, I should be able to get a little bit closer. <laughs> we are, we're pretty close to him. Um, behind Nencourt, you can see the uh, Fred Dibner Tower there. Um, now there are people down here. <laughs> and, but you can see just out there, look, they've already started scraping the land. And it's awful to be fair. Come down here a minute, look. Just whilst they're gone. <laughs> yeah, it's PJ Murphy that are uh, doing it. And it's not PJ Murphy's fault. I mean, they've got jobs out of it. It's the main landowner developer that's pushing all this through that I'm quite annoyed with. But yeah. Great. Anyway, there's people coming. I'm getting out of here. That's a nice little morning walk. Just wanted to go check out the bridge the flood compensation which I couldn't really see because I haven't got my drone and then see how they're getting on with this so it's heartbreaking to be fair and Chester House Bridge get that open well, why have we got to wait for a mayor why have we got to wait for someone I mean Princess Anne that was different was it <laughs> but yeah the bridge they're just waiting for some big wig to go along Graham Lawman or Jonathan Atkins, our mayor, which we didn't vote for. Get Anita Neewin. She'll open the bridge. She's worthy of it. Or Canisius um, Alcinda. He's worthy of opening the bridge. Just get it bloody opened, will you? Anyway, it's enough of me ranting on. Hope you enjoyed the little walk. It's nice seeing the twains. <laughs> I'm walking old railway lines, of course. So if you like the video, hit that like and subscribe. And um, we'll see you all again for the next episode of Purple Vision. I'll keep you all informed. Love and light with a whole heap of you.